Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Until midnight Eastern Time, okay, in the United States, I might add. For those of you who are around the world, let, let me let let me not. Oh, forget it. Um, English is a second language to me, and it's a problem these days. Anyway, um, oh, listen, I got something to show you. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me go over and get it. Uh, for those of you who are watching us on video, you know, uh, if you're listening to us on audio, you can also watch us on video by going to gabnet.net or by going over to YouTube and putting in uh, Alex Bennett and some stuff will come up, including a live feed that's going on right now. Uh, or you can just listen to the audio. That's fine with me, too. I think that's, uh, that's uh, spiffy. I went and I bought this. Not this part, this thing, the camera. Uh, and that's a GoPro. Now, I've had GoPros before. This is the uh, third GoPro I've bought. I bought the GoPro 3, and I brought, bought the GoPro 4, 5, and now this is the 7. Now, how is this different? Well, I used to have a, a thing, and I could go over and get it. I'm not going to get it. And it's called a gimbal. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you. What the hell. I did this last night. Ah, I may as well do it again tonight. Uh, what it was is that I, uh, I bought a thing called a gimbal. These things were, I think, $300 a piece at, uh, at uh, GoPro. And, and what a gimbal does is, let me turn it on here. This is kind of really spooky what it does when I, once I turn it on. It then, look, see? It suddenly turns itself on. And what it does is that no matter where I go, it keeps level, so it's a very smooth action that I get when I'm shooting. Uh, and this was fine, except, of course, this whole thing, which has a battery in it and it's heavy, and uh, sometimes the thing doesn't automatically work, although lately it's been working perfectly because it found out I got the new one. Well, how's that different than this? This does away, I mean, I could take the camera out of here, and, and it does away with having to have the gimbal, okay? Uh, and uh, let me turn it off um, so that, I love it, it's so spooky when it does that, it goes limp, okay? Well, anyway, this is the, this is the new one, and it does everything that does. In other words, uh, it doesn't jiggle around. If I move a lot, you know, like when I'm, trouble is when you're walking holding a GoPro, you could always <clears throat> see the, <clears throat> in the picture, you know. Here it is, it's got a gimbal quality steady cam in it or whatever. And it is, it's terrific. And it's got a lot of other features too. And it's got 4K and the battery goes for about, oh, I don't know, a half hour before you got to change it, but it's very easy to change. And uh, so yesterday, I decided to take it out for its first major test to see if I could actually turn out a video uh, using it. And I went out to see my friend Shecky. So I took uh, this with me, only armed with this, okay, and, and shot what you're about to see. This is about 25 minutes long. It's another one of my boring home movies, but I think you'll probably uh, enjoy it. So let's have a trip to Shecky's. My first ever production with a brand new GoPro 7. Okay, okay. We're, uh, we're on our way to see uh, Shecky out in Queens. Uh, Got to take a cab to the train, take the train to another train, take that train to another train, and then go up. Uh, all the way to Queens to Jamaica Estates. So that's what our bill of fare is for today. Well, this is the 
fairly new subway station. This is the new subway line, which is 2nd Avenue. Jamaica, Queens, and uh, we're going to Jamaica Estates, where, by the way, Donald Trump grew up. There's Shecky. He always comes to visit me here, pick me up down here, but I got to get across the street to get to him. Hold on a second, Shecky. There we go. Ah. 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 Hello. Oh, are you live tweeting? Huh? No. Are you live videoing? No, no, no. This is a new toy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This is the newest uh, GoPro. Oh, I think that guy's going out of business. <laughs> oh, is he really? Because oh, he's losing billions. This is the uh, probably the best one they've ever made because it's got a it, there's no shake. Yeah. There's a built-in gimbal. They call it. You know, like remember I had that other thing where I had a, the whole device and it made the camera level. Yeah. Well, this has done away with that. Uh huh. So. Now apparently that guy uh, oh, is losing. A is that fortune. there's Trump's. Uh, Oh. There's Trump's manse. That's where he was. Uh, that wasn't where he was born. No, it's right up. It's on the other it, side it, of the street. Yeah. This is the evil neighborhood that spawned the devil. Yeah, well, yeah. you yeah, know. And we're going out to get sushi, so. <laughs> this is my friend Shecky. The seldom seen Shecky. Except in every. You invented the selfie. Yes, I did, and, and now I don't do them anymore. <laughs> and now you don't do them anymore. He took pictures of himself by turning the camera around everywhere in Back the where world. You, well, actually, seriously, where you yeah. couldn't see what you were doing. Yeah. Now they have the opposite view cameras, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't do them anymore. No. Eh, too bad. That was a treat. No, I would do like 10 of them to get one of like, oh, that one looks okay. <laughs> you didn't know what you were shooting. No. You couldn't see it. No. Yeah. And I would look at them, and you know, that was that. Okay, well, it's off to sh sushi. <laughs> yeah. And there's yeah. the car that's really parked. Oh, this this. Look at this. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me uh, let me show them. This is uh, this is how some. I can't get this to go no. down. No, well. it's it's open. It, the window goes. No, oh, you're. Oh, 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 there's the window. There we go. Look at that guy. Look at him. Look at him. He's just. Uh, he's. Uh, that's his way. He's taking how many spaces do you yeah, figure? Two like spaces. Two. two spaces. But it's just because he can't park properly. Well, and also the car next to him isn't parked all that well either. Yeah, but I still. Come on. <laughs> come on. 
Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Okay. Good. okay. This is how we do it, huh? What? This is how we do it. It's always good. Yeah. This is. This yeah, hello, Ryan. I'm assuming you're Ryan. 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 Uh, Diet Coke. Diet Coke for me too, please. You're just gonna have lots of ginger. Is that what it is? Yeah, I love ginger. <laughs> They have all kinds of stuff here. And it just goes on and on and on. Sushi you can eat. Yep. Here's what I got. I'm eating sushi. I haven't done this in a long time. We're, we're talking about the school across the street where you went to school here, right? Yes, I did. And uh, th that... Uh, I was in that room when Kennedy died. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And everybody starts getting ready here for their kids to get out. And these people are here really early. Yeah. 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 And this is your mansion. So to speak. Yeah, well, you know, if, if he ever moves out, they'll tear it down and put in a mini mansion. Oh, what? No, I just noticed on the... Uh, that little yeah above the window ah the whole pride of home ownership yeah <coughs> and there's the brick nobody understands <laughs> why is the brick there it just ended up there one day and now whenever my contractor comes he says why do you have a brick there it's like I don't know I just like it this is the home of Vitaphone Talking Pictures here. Yes. Yeah. Where'd you get that? A friend of mine sells them. Oh. I have like six more in the house somewhere. I can't remember yeah. where to put them. We have to say that your your house... Hold on a second. Let me uh, get through the door here. We always come in through the kitchen. And literally, your house is a... Uh, is 19, a 1940s. No, but it's a museum. No. Yeah. Uh, like comic books a lot? Look at this, folks. Of course, you loved uh, Doc Savage, right? Oh, yeah. I, I always thought Doc Savage was pretty terrific. This is the actual, real, original Captain Marvel. That's the Captain Marvel I remember. Yeah, well, that's a, um, you know, C.C. Beck. Yeah. More. Hmm? No, I said it was a CC Beck. Yeah. Oh, I guess I had both lights on. Oh, well, here's you as Superman. Yeah, Alex Ross did that. <laughs> Who's Alex Ross? One of the best comic book artists in the world. Really? And you did play Superman, as a matter of fact, on. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, didn't you play Superman on Letterman? I don't think so. I thought you played Superman on Letterman. Yeah. Oh, what, who'd you play? You played somebody. I don't know. And more stuff. I mean, these are... What are these? These are the actual drawings they do before they put them in the, in the, in the newspaper. Well, what on top was the... Um, when they were getting George Wonder, that's one of his test strips. Yeah. Never, yeah. When he was replacing Milton Kniff. And this is Little Abner. Yeah. And Winnie Winkle. Yes. The breadwinner. And look at this. This is the. Uh, this could be the opening to a DC movie. <laughs> wow. He is quite the collector, folks. This is this is not this is not a uh, this is not a a guy who who fucks around. I mean, this is and, and you you say that this stuff isn't worth anything today. Not worth something. 
George Burns. I was in the free box. <laughs> the Flash. Wow. Yeah. Of course, the typical Superman. Like this was the original DC. Well, that's an Alex Ross. Uh, yeah, but it's it's a, well, it's homage a cover, to it's the, the cover original. of Action Comics number one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And signed by the... By Alex Ross. By Alex Ross. Yeah. And uh, then more. And this is more yeah. Alex Ross stuff and things. Wow. Jeez almighty. And this stuff, you say, is not stuff you would probably wind up selling because... Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. Look at this. Who are all these people? Who are these old guys? My grandfather and his brothers. Oh, really? Yeah. There's uh, Scrooge McDuck. That was done by Carl Barks, right? Yeah. Wow. Jeez. Well, and look, folks, if you go up the stairs, I mean, it's like a fucking museum. Look at this. Look at this. But if you turn around, it's every Acme product ever made. Huh? Behind you. Behind me, every Acme product ever made. Roadrunner. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. And more comics. Who is this? Is Dolores Del Rio. Dolores Del Rio. People who are watching this don't even know who I'm talking about when I say Dolores Del Rio. I do. Scrooge McDuck, Scrooge McDuck. You love Carl Barks, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Carl Barks was the guy who did the comic books. And until recent years, didn't get a lot of credit, did he? No. No. Well, last 25, 30 years. Yeah. There's the Flash comics. There's, well, of course, there's Wonder Woman. S&M, great. <laughs> wow. Well, folks, oh, here we go. The who did this one? It was the Warner store years ago. At the Warner store? Yeah. Really? And is it a painting itself? I have no idea. Wow. Anyway, this is this is and then Shecky's got even more rooms of more of memorabilia here. And of course, more Doc Savage, Batman. Uh wow. What a what a uh what a museum. Like a cornucopia of nothing. No, it's a, it's a museum of nothing. Right? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Very cool, Shecky. Thank you for the tour. You're welcome. And this is the uh room we sit in for most of the afternoon while Shecky lies on his bed. Now, mind you, he doesn't have to use this small room for his bed. He's got a big room in there. But this is the room he grew up in and he feels comfortable with, right? You want to hear all the cars coming down Radnor Road hitting those two speed bumps? Right. Ah, uh, God. It's fun getting old with you, Shecky. Yes, it is. Yeah. So this is the, uh, this is the, uh, this is the room where we sit and talk about probably Nothing. nothing. <laughs> Nothing. We 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 talk about uh, movies, television shows, and uh, why I think Arrow stinks now. Well, Alex, tell me about the case of the Curious Bride the other day. Oh, the case of the Curious Bride was a movie you turned me on to that was shot in San Francisco and actually outdoors in San Francisco in what nineteen thirty five. Thirty five. And it was a Perry Mason film. Probably late thirty four. I was the guess. case of the Curious Bride. Yeah, it was a Perry yeah. Mason film. Yeah. And so with Warren William. Warren William. Good film. Anyway. Margaret Lindsay. So much for the uh, room with Shecky right there. takes me about two hours. Who's that bad? No, it's not that bad. But it seems like it. 
Anyway, thanks for everything, Shaggy. As always, great sushi and great friend. Great sushi, great friend. And uh, we'll do it again sometime soon. Thank yes. you. Maybe Marjorie will come with us. Uh, uh, yes, yes. She wants to. I know. She wants to know why we haven't taken her for sushi. I said, because we only went once since we last took her sushi. I know. Anyway, see you later. Okay, Ben, get home safe. Bye-bye. That's it for our trip to uh, uh, to uh, Queens and Jamaica States and Shecky Land. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed our little trip. I'm trying to get to the front of the train. Because the front of the train is where I need to be to get off at Rockefeller Center. <sighs> Gee, I couldn't run like that before. Here we go. Actually, if I take a seat right here, well, City. I uh, got on the wrong train. <laughs> yeah. The other one took off first. Well, oh well. can't take the D train because it doesn't stop at 116th Street. I have to take uh, the B train, which should be coming along soon. Here comes the B now. It's got to be the B train because that was just the D train and they're never that close together. How do you know? It's another D. This bullshit. Nobody, of course, will give an old man their seat. Hmm. One more stop, and we're back home, right where we started at 116th Street. Hope you enjoyed the trip out to Queens. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network. And here we are again. Thank you, and thanks to Shecky for uh, hosting us out in uh, lovely uh, Queens, New York. That's Jamaica. And, uh, yes, we went to Jamaica, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, I, you know, it's amazing. I, you know, I, I, I shot that thing, and then I uh, simply plug the camera in, and it automatically takes the, the video and puts it onto my, uh, onto my computer. And then it takes all those files and uh, puts it into a program that I use to edit it with called Final Cut Pro. And I edited that thing very fast. Now, in the old days, if I were to do something like that, I would have to, oh. In the early days of videotape, uh, we used to have reel-to-reel -reel machines. And you used to have to, 
uh, have two reel-to-reel -reel machines, and then you would uh, back them up seven seconds, and then you would start them both at the same time, and then you would have to push a button at the time that you wanted to edit. That's how, and it took you, it took me well, five, six hours. to that, that thing you just saw probably would have taken me a full day of editing, okay? Here it took maybe, eh, I'd say it took an hour and a half tops, and that was only because I was making a lot of decisions back and forth and so on and so forth. It took me more time to actually make a file out of the video than to, to do it. So it really, the whole, the whole process has gotten just absolutely terrific, you know. And uh, anyway, let me uh, open up the Skype lines, uh, see if anybody wants to talk to us tonight. I, I sincerely hope that they do. Uh, Charlene, I don't know why you were trying to call. And uh, Richard, I don't know why you were trying to call because our lines weren't open. <laughs> so I have no idea what you were doing. Anyway, uh, I, I, I put on a couple of pounds. Uh, I got on the scale today, and I had gained about maybe anywhere from three to five pounds, which is... Yeah, you know, nothing much. I lost uh, close to 60, so I'm not griping about it. Uh, and uh, Charlene is the first one up here. Hello, Charlene. How are you? Oh, good. Am I okay? My sound and everything? Yeah, you sound fine. You're all, all okay. I, I enjoyed that so much, Alex. That was great. Oh, well. I mean, he, that's an awesome house that he has. Mm -hmm. Like, that was where he grew up, and he, like, yeah. inherited yeah. that. Yeah, that's the home where he, uh, that's, that's well, I don't know, I don't know if he, if that was his first home. I've never really asked him, but it was the one he spent the majority of his young life And I love how he a... passed, um, you know, Trump's little mansion where he grew up, because I saw that uh, PBS uh, Trump Dynasty thing, and they were, they showed it there, you know. Yeah. The house, of course, is not owned by the Trumps any longer. Who knows Wait, who? the value of it has gone up, though. Well, who? The president, I heard, right? I, I have no idea. I would think the value would go down because I wouldn't want to live in that fucking thing right, with everybody right. like me <laughs> driving by and honking their horn and yelling out the window, fuck you, you to know, the Alex, house, you know? So. Alex, I used to live in Queens, in, uh, like, Ridgewood, and I used to go yeah. to the Macy's. Um, I forget what mall now because I'm getting old. I have a birthday. I can't remember anything anymore. But watch out because I do you know the Boulevard of Death they used to call it Queens Boulevard. Yeah. They should just name it the Boulevard of Death. I, I I'm so worried. I wonder if was that Queens Boulevard I was on I think. Like Rego Park no. maybe or something no. I think. Yeah, you, know, you aren't on the Boulevard of Death. Where, in, in, where uh, I come out of the Rigo subway Park. is the entrance to to Jamaica Estates. A, because they fly by so fast. Like you know, Shecky was there, but I saw those cars and how. I mean, you could easily get clipped. Yeah. I used to be so afraid I would run across the Boulevard of Death. Yeah. Because I didn't want to die that way, you know, being clipped by a car. Right, know? right, 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 right. So anyway, uh, so that was my little trip out to Queens. I hope it you, was awesome. You enjoyed. I it. loved That's it. Great. Yeah. So New York drivers don't have to stop for people in the crosswalk. Oh, are you kidding? That's a New Jersey <laughs> thing, Phil. In New Jersey, <laughs> that's the law. That every you know, if you hit a pedestrian, you know, you have to wait for them. But in New York, it's like what was that game? There was a video game that everyone hated when video games came out that you wanted to hit the people crossing the street, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean it it was a um um uh it's just, you know. Uh, I shall return. Huh? Where what why did you call? Yeah, right. Of course, yeah, you totally. opened up the Skype lines, and I was making tea. I want to go get my tea. Well, go get your tea. I'm going to get he, my tea. He's a teetotaler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so um, uh, uh, yeah, that was my little my little trip out there. I thought you would enjoy. Uh, and his stuff is awesome. Yeah. Do you know, I, I oh, collect, yeah. um, I collect like, um, pin up pin up artwork. And I collect Marilyn Monroe things like plates, those Bradford. Mm -hmm. I collect all kinds of crazy stuff. And my house is like, you know, well, it's not a museum. He's pretty clean. And, you know, but he's got awesome stuff. Yeah. That was great. But I'm glad you I'm glad you all in, enjoyed it. Not, yeah. It was amazing. It was, like, it was like being back in Queens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were in Jamaica. It's like being in Jamaica yeah. when you're in Jamaica, Queens, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. I yep, used yep. to go there every day to go to high school. I had to go to Jamaica to get on the train. <laughs> Shit, I was in the Bahamas last week, and now you're in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Alex, I, I've i done what you did. Remember when you got on the wrong train? Yeah. I, I, I would always do that. I remember when I first moved to Manhattan, I didn't know where I was going. So I got on the train. I ended up in Chinatown once. And imagine how that was. Nobody spoke English. I was so lost. I'll never forget that. <laughs> there was nobody to ask, and I didn't know that you could go up to the booth you know, and ask the person in there. Yeah. Oh, I was so lost. I'll never forget that. I was like wandering around Chinatown. That must have been hours out of my way, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But to me, when I got lost, I would find I would find things by getting lost. You know what I mean? Like wandering. <laughs> Eventually, somebody would help you if you asked enough people in those days. Yeah. I, I needed a GPS then, right? Yeah. In the subway. <laughs> anyway. You needed a map. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the old subway map. Somebody had to actually tell me there were maps. I didn't even know I was in Manhattan. I used to just call it New York and the city because I was from New Jersey. One guy said to me, you're really too much. He goes, you don't know where you are, do you? And I had to explain it was Manhattan, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. so that's our little our little trip out there. You know, yeah, it, it was uh, the the camera did really well. It has a bit yeah. of a fish eye when you go up to things that are more vertical. Oh, I can like change the door. That. I can change that. Yeah, yeah. There's less of a fish eye. There's even more of a linear. But I yeah. chose that for most of this. I changed um, later on this, the last third or so, the last well, the last quarter. Uh, I mm -hmm. used just the wide, and yeah. there is one other uh, uh, size that you can do called linear which isn't mm -hmm. wide at all so yeah yeah and uh, do they have uh like auxiliary microphones or any, yeah, anything you, you like can, that? you can use a uh, uh, microphone yeah Excellent. okay uh, you were uh, using the in-camera one yeah 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 so you know uh no you uh you put it through what do they what do they say uh, where do you put it in you put it in somewhere uh, yeah you put it in through the usb port use a usb oh. mic yeah oh I, okay and so it will take external mics. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, you know. Well, it, not, not that you needed it, but it would be. No, the sound actually, compared to the last uh, uh, GoPro I had, the sound is 100% better. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. It seemed to cover everything, you know, around me. And mm -hmm. I put my earphones on to see about the stereo, and it was terrific, you know. Yeah, it was a little directional. You picked up Shecky uh, a little better than you picked up you because you were behind it. Mm -hmm. And he was in front of it. Yeah. But I also like the fact that I could walk with the damn thing, point at my face while I'm walking, and because of that uh, uh, that steady cam thing, right. uh, uh, it's like I'm walking along and somebody's holding a camera in front of me. You know? Yeah. Very, it's, very, it's, very, it's very good. Yes, uh, Charlene? Well, what night were you and Phil discussing chicken things and... Phil likes this kind of chicken. Was it that was last I was night. listening to replay. Casa Renda last night. Oh, it was last night's re okay, I listened to that yeah. today. And I want to tell you it was like an awesome chicken discussion that you were having there. I, I got a couple I, Popeyes. I got a couple of uh, Facebook messages from people who were disappointed last night with the program because they thought you were going to be away for 2 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He put that thing where, how long was he away? Huh? He wasn't even away a whole week, right? Yeah, was he yeah I was away 11 days, and I think the day, well, 12 days if you count the night before uh, because I was packing and doing stuff, so I didn't do the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't performing, so, right? Yeah, so 12, 12 days is mm -hmm. the equivalent of tell, tell, two about, weeks. tell me about it. I yeah. want to write Shecky and thank him for his uh, thing. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. got a great house. I love that house. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I love that it's a two-car garage. That's that's an awesome house for someone from New York to be living in. You know. Yeah. It's worth a lot of money, I think. Yeah. My friend lives in, uh, like, uh, Oak Forest Hills. She's a lawyer, and she bought a house. That her, you know, where the Arthur Ashe Stadium is, and all that stuff there, and Kew yeah. Gardens. For, yeah. That she, her house is probably worth a lot. Uh, I know Tony's what? out there, and he probably has a million-dollar house where he is, that his mother owns or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I lived in Sunnyside, Queens until I was two. 
I've heard of Sunny Side. Yeah, I don't so know. From fifty four to fifty six, mm-hmm. uh, I was a Queens resident. You were, you were in Queens when Trump was in Queens, maybe right? Or was he? Uh, <laughs> nah, he was. He's he's older than me. Uh, yeah, they threw him I, out. Yeah, I, probably. Yeah, it might have been. He's he. What's he? he Seventy something? School or something? They had thrown him out, right? And he never went back again. I guess right. Hmm. You know, uh, my parents deliberated sending me to military school, Peekskill Military Academy, mm. but they said they didn't want to break my spirit. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, really? I probably would have been better off. Mm-hmm. I think Trump's seventy-three. I think he's four years older than I am. All right, so um, yeah. he's uh, seven, eight years older than I am. Mm-hmm. So, Phil, what uh, high school did you go to? Uh, I went to Lakeland High School, which was in, um, uh, not Pack, what the hell, uh, Lake Mohegan, oh, okay. uh, which is up, you know, in Westchester. Yeah. 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 Like and, the lands of the Mohicans. Oh, no, that's yeah. Mohican. Well, Mohican. you know, the Mohegan Indians, I guess, were from that area. and uh, They still own the place. Maybe yeah. wrong, Phil. And the I'm casinos. Wrong. That's right. <laughs> Somebody has to Google because, you know, Phil, it could be wrong, right, information. What's that? I don't know. You don't know how to pronounce anything, Phil. Lake <laughs> You're Mahegan? like Norm Crosby, I think Rob said, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, oh, uh, I, I, you're I, making I, fun I, of my I, disability? What? You know, uh, hmm. you know the American with Disabilities Act. You can't make fun of me. Yeah. What, do you, what, <laughs> what do you mean? What, what, what's your disability? I can't pronounce anything. Oh, well, that's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like nuclear. It's or... a communication disability. No, you know what it is? It's No, it's laziness. It really uh, is. It's pure, utter laziness. And I, uh, Marjorie somewhat has the same problem, and I get yeah. really bothered by it because she'll sometimes use the wrong word for something, and that yeah. drives me crazy. And I, and I know that I drive people crazy with that as well. Like, for instance, I'm thinking of writing to uh, Hallie Jackson over at MSNBC because I am sick and tired of her referring to her newscast as a show. It's it not a is. show. It's <laughs> not a show. Uh, where are the acrobats and the magicians, okay? <laughs> if you, at the very, at the, at the very least, it's a program. Really good shoe. And in, in, in most cases, she should call it a cast. And I think by calling it a show, she diminishes yeah. the credibility of yeah. the of the kind of thing she's doing. And and she's uh, telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> the diminished credibility. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, I think they diminish their credibility. Uh, but I'm I'm a nut about words. I mean, uh, that they be pronounced correctly. Like I every once every year, I go crazy for a whole month. Because I hear all these people on television saying, so in February. Oh, <laughs> February, right? Yeah. It's February. You, you know, in KGO, they That's used to cool. have this guy that would uh, have discussions in the morning with the disc jockey about um, uh, words and pronunciation and people that used certain words incorrectly. And uh, uh, it was interesting. But uh, I, don't, I don't think the guy's around anymore. February. Folks, you know, if Alex, you look at it, was, if you um, look at it, that was in school. No, that's how I, it's I, written. I, oh. That's how it's written. Feb ru eri. But but they don't have you know what was that called? When I was a kid, we had to break up sentences, noun, verb, predicate, and syllabic, and then um, we also had phonics, and they don't teach anything like that. Well, I think they maybe, no. I was taught using phonics. Uh, and phonetically, February makes no, no, sense. No, 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 no. I was taught in the look-see method, which was fucked. Oh. Which was completely right, my fucked. My son got taught like that. When yeah, well, I had to, when I went into radio. Right, they call it sight reading. When I, when, no, when I, when I uh, went into radio, I had to teach myself how to oh, read all again, all over again because mm. the, the uh, uh, look-see method uh, was not accurate. Because some words look like other words. And, That's what they yeah. teach now. And so I, I had I, I had to teach myself to go back and relearn how to read phonetically, so mm-hmm. that I could look at a long word and pretty well figure out how you pronounced it, rather than looking at it and saying, well, "Does that look like cemetery?" 
Uh, you know, I mean, it, it was a, it was horrible, Damn and, and they fucked up. They right. fucked up a whole generation of kids because they went back and forth between phonics were very big, you know, back in the turn of the century, and then they went to the look see method, fucked up a whole generation of kids, and then went back to the phonics method. Again. That's the American <laughs> school system, right? Yeah, Just and that's like why that. we're throwing all this money at it. That's like when uh, Bush's wife. You always had have to turn no it into a political behind. discussion, don't you, Phil? That's okay. yes. <laughs> you know. No, uh, Bush left everybody's children behind. When yep. his wife got in there. Yeah, she actually, the I, I used to I used to date a gal that uh, worked for Honig. Uh, this guy Honig was the uh, head of uh, the head of the California school system, mm -hmm. uh, and then he went into a, a private c a consulting firm, and her job was to. Uh, deal with all of these school systems on that no child left behind. See what they what they did was they took money or grants, and they said that they would meet certain standards. And when they didn't meet those standards, they hired Honig's company, and Teresa would go all over the country talking to the superintendents of the schools, telling them what they needed to do in order to uh, correct uh, their path and not lose their ability to manage the school because if they didn't meet it at a, at a certain point, the state would take the school over and these guys were out of a job. So they were spending buku duck uh, money on uh, Teresa and Honig's company uh, that they would, you know, well, that was be under, told what that, they needed to do. That whole thing was under uh, Bush, wasn't it? Uh, where, yeah, well, where, the where they had no child left Kirby. behind. The whole, no George. child left behind was a terrible thing for the school. Right, but there was under uh, George George, a, a George W. Bush. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but uh, they were still left with uh, having to justify and get the um, grades to the to the point where. Uh, they wouldn't lose their jobs yes, even you after see, here Bush was, here, during the yeah, Obama here, here was the problem with that whole thing, okay? If you were a teacher in, say, a school uh, in Jamaica Estates, right, you wouldn't have that problem because you got a bunch of students who are, you know, parents are forcing them to learn and get good grades and well, things. Well, let me finish yeah. and get good grades and so on. But then there are people who used to be teaching in places like uh, – the worst part of Richmond, California, who were San Rafael. Yeah, who were doing only the best they could in educating these kids. And yet they would not meet up with the standards that the mm -hmm. Bush administration had set for them. And it was unfair. But it didn't matter if they didn't meet the standards. What mattered is if they took the money and didn't meet the standards. So for instance, when but they, they need agreed, the money in order to keep the school open. Well, they agreed to to do a certain no, thing. They didn't and then, agree to do anything. Know, they, no, they, 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 they didn't the agree to do anything. They were told what they were going to do. No, no, they no, were told they had to apply no, for this grant. Believe me, the, the 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 holding back of money from schools for not meeting certain objectives during the No Child Left Behind era, uh, it had nothing to do with them agreeing or disagreeing. It was just the way it was, and they didn't get the money from the federal government for their schools if they didn't meet up to a certain standard. Well, you're going yes. no. You're going no, Jeff. Do you agree with me? Or? Well, I'm, I'm very familiar, at least, to what happens today is some of the towns in Connecticut were what's called in the poorest area. Mm -hmm. Where the kids are not very well educated, and, and nobody cares. No, I wouldn't say nobody cares because a lot of a lot of people, uh, including my wife, she teaches for free one day a week That's uh, great. with like one on one with kids That's to great. try to help them to to learn. But it, it's it's very very difficult. Yeah, yeah, you know. But, you know, I mean, uh, we're um, uh, we're living in a time where we don't really care about teaching kids and we really don't care about taking care of old people. And we're losing our soul as a country. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I think that's what I grieve the most. You know, I know that as an older American, I am out here. I'm on my own. I'm sorry. I'm on my own. And, and of course, uh, your dear president is uh, thinking of uh, slashing the money for Medicare. 
Uh, yes. so, $800 billion. Dollars. Yeah, so how, He's how, so how are Hollywood people going to pay for their medical treatment? Because when they're that old, they, they, they're living on a, um, on a fixed income. And uh, extraordinary medical costs uh, will be nothing but a, but a bane to them, and it will wind up killing people. In other words, your president wants to kill me. Okay? Oh, yes, but he's putting cat food on sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, very funny, Phil. I, I, you know, I mean, the fact is, he, he, he's, he's, he's doing something which is literally going to kill people. If, if he can well, pass it, he, I don't think he's going to get it passed because Congress and the Senate are not going to pass uh, a cut in Medicare. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Even, even the most staunch Republicans are probably going. Well, Medicare is grandfathered in and we just got to stick with it and live with said it. said he wasn't going to do that so well, why I know, because all yeah, of a sudden because Phil. he's a lying fuck and you kept saying he yeah. it lives up to his promises but apparently he doesn't nope. well we'll see what do you mean we'll see we already know he he's gonna slash medicare that's what he wants to do so he's going hmm. against what he said when he was running for office yeah Yes. Well, yeah, I, I see, see all of those things on Facebook, and I'm going to figure ahead, it out, Phil. Huh? Yeah. What? What did you say, Jeff? When when Phil gets to be 73, he'll figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, Charlie. Uh, you know, he also promised that that the uh, Wall Street and rich people were not going to be happy with his tax plan. And how many of them are unhappy with his tax cuts from last, uh, last time? Yeah. You know, I saw this this thing where it said that these companies and Apple was one of them uh, donated uh, money to the Republican Party or the GOP, and uh, Apple had donated the least, which was about a half a million dollars. Most and, most companies, Phil. Most but, companies, but they most claim companies. that they got a forty-seven million dollar benefit out of the tax cut. And the companies that actually contributed the most got the least amount of tax benefit. Well, well Phil, uh, I, I don't know whether that's true or not or whether that's just coincidence. The fact of the matter is, however, that most companies, you know, Apple, I'm sure, I'm sure that uh, Apple's management is probably Democratic, okay? Yeah. And liberal. Uh, but th these companies always give a certain amount of money to each party. Uh, yeah, but as, it was the comparison yeah. between what was given and what their tax savings were over the uh, due to the tax cut, and uh, it was well. The fact just, is, the fact is, you didn't answer Charlie's comment that he said he was not going to the rich. Rich were not going to be happy with his tax cut, and I got to tell you, if I were rich, I'd be very happy with his tax cut. Well, you so, know, I there's think another lot. There's another lie, Phil. It's a form of trickle down economics, yeah, which I agree uh, with. Yeah, but we've all already proved under the Reagan administration it doesn't work. Uh, it didn't. It wasn't given enough time. Oh, oh I see. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, you got an excuse for everything. It didn't work, Phil. It uh -huh. was considered. It was uh -huh. considered voodoo economics. I think they referred to. O only, only by uh, George H. W. Bush. Hmm? And that was uh, George H. W. Bush when he was running against Reagan yeah. for uh, president. Uh, called uh, Reagan's uh, deal voodoo economics. Yeah, yeah, he was right. That's right. Hey, you know, uh, I, I, my birthday is coming up in June, and that means that I have to apply for uh, uh, Medicare. Well, don't get it. Yep. Don't get it, Phil. You don't deserve it. Uh, you, you, you I tell said, you what, you can pay me back all I put into it. You, you mm. said you hate hate this kind of stuff. So, you know. I didn't uh, say I hated this kind uh, yes of stuff. Yes, you did. It's something yes, you did. pay for. I'm, I'm entitled I, to. I think this anybody who's a, pay who, for. who is a Republican and thinks that these, what they call entitlement programs, right. Are bad. Well, entitlement programs are is Velveeta cheese and uh, awesome. and and other shit that they give to people instead of I, real it's food. It's funny, but they somehow when they said entitlement programs, they were, in my, if I remember correctly, referring to 
uh, Medicare, Medicaid. Uh, I think they were uh, referring uh, to welfare. Oh, they were at Social Security. No, they were. They no, were that, no, they in were. In your referring mind, to, that's what they, they were. Referring no, to. They, they were referring, referring to welfare. To, they, guys, what were they referring to? No, they're trying to equate Social Security and Medicare with welfare, and that's and why that's they kept right. calling those yeah. things entitlements too, to yeah. make you think that 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 we were, you know, taking things that we weren't entitled to. Well, okay, this is your opportunity to teach me something. What do I have to do to apply for uh, 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 Medicare? Well, first you have to become a Democrat. Uh, <laughs> and, and then, a hello, hello, Richard. Uh, Just yeah. go to Medicare.gov. You have to become a, you you have to become a Democrat. You know. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's it's a terrible idea, Phil, as you said. It's a horrible thing, and you really shouldn't uh, take be on the government's dole. Okay? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think you really have a choice. I think you get punished if you don't. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, Mr. Mr. Republican here is saying, so how do I get Medicare? When do I get it, huh? When, how, how soon can I apply for it? Yeah. How old are you now, Phil? 64. 64. 64. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Social, don't, don't do you it. You can do it online. That's you can, yeah, that. you can do it 65. I think it's Social Security that's gone up to like 66 or something like that. 66 uh, I, and a half. I can Seven. qualify at 66 and a half for yeah. full Social Security. And uh, They should but, be lowering and, that age rather than raising it because you try and find yeah. somebody who can well, find a job at 60. Well, they, you know. they lowered it to it's sixty two, but then you only get a you don't get I, it all. I, I did that, and the, and did the that. problem is I did with that, that, and I'm I'm living long enough that I'm I'm glad I didn't take it uh, at uh, sixty five. Right. Am I right, uh, Jeff? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Know, for you. Because the longer what you, you wait, yeah, you get the, locked in. The more you get. Let's say well, let's say you, problem, you're sixty two. Let's say you're you're sixty two. And uh, you uh, decide you're going to wait till you're 66 and a half and you die at 65. You've been fucked. Yes, <laughs> yeah. 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 yes you have. Yeah. But yeah, the, the other problem is, let's say I take it at 62 and I make more money than they allow you to make. You're not going to get anything. Oh, no. You get, so no, why believe, should I take it? Believe it or not, Phil, uh, if you work, if you're working, and I was working for quite a bit of my period over over yeah. over 62 when I first started taking it, uh, you keep getting your your money raised because you're making more I, money. That's true, but yeah. the benefit is reduced based on your income. Yeah, so, if you make uh, too much, they take part of the Social Security away from you. And and in my case, they would have taken it all. They never took anything away from me. And I you was weren't making, making any money then. I was making uh, the serious uh, one hundred and twelve thousand dollars a year. Okay, no, well, no, you weren't you weren't on Social Security. No, I was. Yeah. So did they? Oh, yeah. You, well, you were over seventy, though, right? For, yeah. Every for every dollar you make over sixteen thousand dollars, I uh, that's for only two dollars you make. They take away one. So yeah. I I make around what you were making at Sirius. So therefore. I would get zero. Yeah. When you turn 70, you can make all the money in the world. They don't lower you. I thought 66 and a half. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's why Alex what didn't have it taken away from him. Well, no, yeah, but, but, no, but I was getting uh, paid uh, at 62. Uh, I started working at Sirius when I was 64. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I kept, I, well, I was already getting Social Security and the check never went down. Really? What I'm saying is that my Social Security was check on your doesn't taxes, go down, but I have to pay taxes on my Social Security. I pay federal oh, income course. taxes on my Social yes, Security you, you, oh, because I make oh, more than sixteen thousand oh, dollars a year. Yeah. Well, now it's uh, I think twenty five is uh, the amount. But, I don't. Well, e no, even but what you're talking about? Do. Yes, I mean I did have to pay money on my Social Security because I made over. You know, over a certain over amount. the sixteen thousand, over yeah. the sixteen thousand. But I was right. getting paid. My social security check comes to almost twenty four thousand dollars a year. Yeah. So you know, and that's after the Medicaid is, care is taken out. Mm -hmm. I get about so nineteen thousand. So it's time 000. for you to go see your accountant. Huh? Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't know what to do. You go see your accountant. I say just, just don't find take out it. It's bogus, that, Phil. That it's wrong. It's being it's nothing. it's being on the take of, from the government. You should not do it. I'm going to take it so that you can't have it. 
<laughs> hey, I'm getting it anyway. You know, everything oh, I take, the Democrats can't spend. Hmm. Just remember that <laughs> on entitlements. <laughs> it's not the Democrats that are spending. It's yeah, what's in it for me? It's with them, cuts for the rich. Well, between yeah, Mar- what's in it for between me? Between Marjorie and I, will we'd have about four thousand dollars a month coming in from that, and another thousand from my after pension. And, uh, you know, we're, we, we, could, we could survive, you know. Uh, and then, of course, I've got all the money that I've saved up over the years, the massive amount of money that is being <laughs> dribbled away as we speak. That's of course, you're buying GoPros. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I got that Medicare.gov up. And the first thing it wanted me to do was put in my email address, and it, would, it sounded like an ad. And then I'd get bombarded by every. Oh, you uh, gotta get bombarded. Oh, anyway. is it a phony Medicare site? No, you know, no, this, like this is an official U.S. Way. government site. Yeah. For Medicare. They have phony sites for some of that, though. Not Medicare. Well, like when you go, like apply for college. When my son oh, yeah. was doing that, you know, you have to watch out. Well, they got these porn sites that come up for the Medicare, and what they're trying to do is they're trying to cause the, the person to have a heart attack before they qualify so they can keep it in their coffers yeah. and give it to Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, let, me, yeah. uh, let me see. Such a – hold on a second. A, um, I know I'm going to do Kaiser. Uh, you know, maybe I just ought to call them and ask them uh, – they sent me something in the mail that I, if I filled it out, but I, I don't know if I have to do something with the Social Security Isn't Administration. Isn't that supposed to be crappy insurance, Phil? What? The, the Kaiser. I've heard I like guys it. talk about that a lot. It's not crappy? No. I, oh. I like Kaiser. You know, it, you have to learn how to navigate the system. They're, they're, but I've got a good guy now. He's pretty proactive, and, uh, and I have some outside people that help me, and uh, you know, they say, oh, tell them you want this test and that test. And, and they do them. You know, it's it's all under one roof. Now, when and, you go to Medicare, Medicare is then primary, right? It's, it's his prime. His pri- it will be his. Well, wait a minute. Let me. Hold, how many people? How many people work at your operation, Phil? Uh, I have six uh, W-2 employees and then a bunch of 1099 people. Cool. So. Yeah, but I mean, how many if full-time vendor. employees? Less than ten, right? Right, right. So yeah. then, Medicare would be your primary. Yeah, As but a, uh, and then, the way that it, Kaiser it, handles it is yeah. they take it, and so you just still go through Kaiser, and you pay this uh, um, hundred bucks or something. As a secondary uh, for the secondary at Kaiser, and, and then uh, you still have the. Twenty percent that isn't covered, right? Or, no, that's no, no, that, everything that takes is covered. care of the. Well, oh, right. That, well, that, not everything true. is covered. You, you know, I mean, you you're you're covered up to a point, but there is a, uh, uh, a, mm. a what do you call it? Uh, uh, Limit. Okay. Uh, okay. Copay on almost everything. I mean, that that's well, what's so fun. No, that's not the way mine works. Really? No. Well, I, I, it's a hundred percent. I haven't paid a dime for medical insurance since I turned sixty-five, and I've had you, four you know, operations. Kaiser? What? You have Kaiser. Yeah, but what? what no, what, I, I have Humana. Yeah, oh. but what? Humana, happened, Humana, but how did? How did you? Hundred percent of everything. Yeah, but are are you on some kind of plan for where you worked at one Part time? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. The state is picking up the twenty percent. Oh, okay. That, uh, so you're very that you're very fortunate. Medicare you're very fortunate, but you know, still, uh, you know, I mean, I pay. Uh, you know, every time I go to see this guy who sticks his fist up my ass <laughs> no. uh he he, he, he charges urologist. me uh, about 49 dollars or something as a copay you know uh but yeah. most of my doctors it's it's uh, either nothing or it's very very minor well hey what about richard in uh, norway what yeah. do you do uh, you know i know that they've got health coverage and uh, mm-hmm. you pay dearly for it but uh, how do you? How do they handle it there? And is there a sixty-five-year-old range for other stuff, or what? what no, what do they no, do it's uh, pretty much free. Uh, yeah, all the way. It yeah. Covers everybody, cradle to grave. More but or less. you pay seventy percent in income tax, right? No, they don't pay. No, that. no, no, no. How much no. you pay in income tax? What? What? What is the income tax like there? 
I'm not quite sure, but it's not 70. 70. What what did you say, Phil? 70. Seven, zero. Yeah, seven. 70. Oh, no, no. It's, I, I'm not sure, but it's way, way less than that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not you're sure wrong again, Phil. Everybody have a drink. Well, do you have a VAT tax and, and other things on uh, top of income? Well, you know, we, we, um, if you talk about medical Medicare, we ha everybody, yeah. every citizen ha has a right to have a, a doctor, a yeah. regular doctor. Yeah. And uh, we, we pay for uh, up to like um, two hundred dollars or one hundred fifty dollars. For 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 uh, if you go to see the doctor and we go, oh, so you have to pay a hundred and fifty dollar copay. No, yeah, uh, yeah, wait a minute, not, is that not, a copay? Not, is, that, not, is that per year? Yeah, per year. Oh. Uh, you okay. bill it up, you know. You yeah. bill it up. Like to, a deductible. To, to, like a deductible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's so, like two hundred dollars maximum for the year. Right? Yeah, maximum, yeah. and that includes you know going to the doctor, ha getting medication at the pharmacy, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But. And after that is free. You get a card after that. Well, we That's have Obamacare stuff. here. Yeah. And yeah, you know, know. <laughs> some, of, some, some of the co-pays are $25,000. Yeah. So, oh. you know, well, Phil, whatever Phil, they the save only reason on why the Obamacare, subsidy. Why, the only reason why Obamacare is not particularly great is because he had to concede to the Republicans to get it passed. Oh. And yeah, so needed, this, needed, was, needed, this was this was this was yeah. kind the of the reason a, that medical is fucked up in this country is that we don't have a system that's either uh, you know single payer or we don't have a system that's minute. truly you, free market. Are you, are it's you, neither. Wait, wait a, it, it's you, in the middle and it, and it and it won't work. What do you mean? Because it, it, if it was single payer, if, it's it, one I'll, thing. I'll if prove it was to you. Free I'll, market, I'll prove to you. I'll prove to you. It's free market, guys. How many doctors do you know that have yachts? Yep. Not many. No, oh, I know a lot. I know a bunch of doctors. <laughs> yeah. no, the, no, I think, I think only I know the couple, dentists, <laughs> dentists what? have yachts. What? Yeah, yeah, dentists, dentists. have yachts. Yeah. And They're the ones with the yachts. I yes. I've so I'm, yeah. I'm curious, it's from Phil, as now that you don't like the system, what would you do to change it? Well, I believe in a free market system. Well, what the uh, hell does that mean? Oh, I'll tell you what it means. What the hell is it's that? it's a market where you can shop around, where prices are transparent, where uh, there's competition, mm -hmm. where uh, what did you say? What did you what did you say? Where what 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 are competitive? Death? What did you say are competitive? Uh, the prices. Oh, and, wait a minute, uh, Phil. Bing, Bing, Bing. Transparent. Phil, Phil, Bing, Bing, Bing. And you can't compare it to a single payer because there are no prices. Yeah, and and it's a boondoggle. When you have single payer and there are no prices, it's like going to the buffet. Everybody eats and leaves a bunch of shit on their plate. Mm -hmm. and, and, and look and, at and, uh, and that uh, okay, will fail. okay. L look at our friend Richard Medicare here. Been Does for the, uh, years. Uh, Richard, um, it, it doesn't look like he's years. dying from bad health care. Hmm? I, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I said, wait a minute, hold on a second. Right. Wait a minute, I'm answering a question for him, Phil. <laughs> I, I, I said, you don't look like you're dying from, from bad health care. You Me? Know? Yeah. No. no. And no, my I friend, don't. my friend Ted Randall said, and quite rightly yeah. so, that if I he had, that, you know, it, yeah. that if he had been in the United States during the last uh, yeah. twenty years, he'd he be, dead be dead by yeah. now. He would be dead by now. Yeah, yeah. How how old was he? Ted Randall, ninety two. Uh, ninety two. Ninety two. Yeah. yeah. And he said, "I've had problems." He says, "If I, I if I didn't have if I didn't live in uh, Canada, um, I'd be dead by now." I got a friend in Norway that's ninety one, and he he's still he's still going on uh, trips on with his bike, bicycle, and mm. tent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And sleep over. That's because he can't afford a car. Because he's paying people so much. People in Norway yeah, live about can, three but... years longer than people <laughs> in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if, if Phil, you know, you, you have this idea that uh, in some of these countries they're paying enormous taxes, 70%, yes. and it's not true. Uh, you can't find a country that charges 70% in taxes. Okay. All right, Plain and simple. Up. Yeah, you're going to look it up. Yeah. Go go to michaelsavage.com. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> The fact is, the fact is that even if they paid, say, 40 percent, they're getting their money's worth, Phil. We're no, not getting not. our money's worth. I'm paying. Yeah, but I pay. I, I pay. A great, I pay a great America, amount of taxes I get choice. every year. And I get we a pay, choice whether we, I want to pay yeah, that or not pay it. Oh, well, it, choice it, about getting yeah. your medication or, or eating food that month. Yeah. 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 Phil, it's amazing. Yes, uh, Richard. Much? 
Well, yeah, I, I hate to change the subject, but uh, I, here in Oslo, uh, Hillary Clinton was in Oslo the other for a week ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, yeah, did you know that? No, no. no. We no. don't pay attention to her She's anymore. trying to avoid okay, arrest. Okay, okay. Well, as you had a, not a speech, she was interviewed uh, on stage in public for, mm -hmm. in front of an audience. Yeah. Uh, the effective tax rate in Oslo is 44%. Yeah, that's not bad. He, because he's look what he's getting for his forty four percent, Phil. That's, that's not seventy. So, <laughs> and he's not going to go bankrupt because he got sick. No, no, not at all. No, he's just going to freeze. <laughs> not, not, not. Phil never, not right Phil never says Norwegians <laughs> are happier than Americans. Phil, rather than say, sure they are. <laughs> Phil, yeah. rather than say that somebody might be right, just tells what he perceives to be a joke. You know. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Let me read this. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, the most important taxes are VAT, in, uh, income tax. Oh, the, you know, there's a lot more taxes and indirect taxes. In oh, Norway we have them that, here, too. Like we don't have that. Like we don't have that? Yeah, Phil, yeah. You, you, you know, they say that we, we have so much of a tax, blah, blah, blah. And then you go and buy something and you pay 8.5% tax. Yeah. So that's actually, if you're if you're taking your money that you make, that you pay taxes on, and then you go out and buy <laughs> stuff with that money, you're paying another 8.5% in taxes. Yeah. Uh, well. Yeah. You see, yeah. You just not even. What did I just say, week, say, Phil? What did I just say? They had a value What did I just say, Phil? What did I just say? Yeah, that we we pay a sales tax. <coughs> it was a little more than that. Isn't that a isn't that a ta uh, like a tax uh, tax free play, uh, one no. of those islands? Uh, uh, no, not that. No, not those. Not that. But, no, mm -hmm. no, some some island there in the Cari Caribbean. No. Uh, there. Yeah, there are tax free havens, but I, I don't. Yeah, know. I mean, uh, tax free. Can, not you know, people can push, put away yeah. money and stuff, offshore yeah. stuff. Offshore oh yeah, stuff. because yeah, because they don't have to report it. Yeah, right. A lot of Norwegian billionaires do that. Cayman Islands are famous. For By the way, yeah, right. Cayman Islands. Islands. Yeah. Yeah. Cayman Islands and yeah, yeah. Switzerland. Yeah. You know, there'd be good money in uh, supplying electric power in Venezuela, though. Uh, uh, they, ha they haven't yes. had they well. Haven't had no, everything would be week. fine if the Americans it's, would just turn the lights on again. I don't think it's the Americans. How <laughs> <laughs> are they surviving down there? I'm, uh, how's he? They're how not. is Maduro surviving? Is what I want to know. I mean, if I were in that country, I want to go fucking kill the guy. Because he's paying the army. You know, there's one one group of people that he supports that are getting paid, and that's yeah. the military. Yeah, and he controls the military, and as long as he keeps paying them and feeding them, he's going to be in control. Yeah, but you know they also have grandmothers and grandfathers and parents and so on who are suffering the slings and arrows of of Maduro's um, well, existence. Well, they took the guns away, and so I don't know if he can pay them enough money to make them completely happy. Night. <laughs> She's yeah. still pretty. You At know, least they're not. By the way, you know what uh, you should do, to Tony. Sometimes out of garbage. Trucks. I bet. When's the last time you cleaned the lens on your on your camera? Me? No, I'm talking about Tony. Oh, Tony. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Blessy. It's kind of blurry. She's driving me crazy tonight, my mother. Oh. She's going to the bathroom three times in an hour. <laughs> uh, Tony's Tony's camera. That's a filter. Uh, it, yeah, it's it on makes my it look soft and and. Oh, uh, uh, it is <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Tony, <laughs> Tony. Uh, from what I hear, I, I hear the word that you are going to have a new job soon. Yeah, nobody posts on my Facebook page anything about it because the family don't know. But Alex, oh, okay, I'm yeah. going to work through the city, and I'm going to take care of my mom. He's going to work as a caregiver and get paid uh, by the city, him, ah, and yeah. the person he's taking care of is his mother. I mean, it's legitimate, uh, you know. Yeah. And Alex, I called him up. Another the entitlement. City, and you know what they told me? It's a say my mother, pay, I, I don't mean to say she's going to pass away, but let's say the day comes that she's no longer with us. I said, say if I want to continue doing the work. The lady says, all I have to do is take some kind of class at night, and they give you a certificate and they put it on like your payroll thing so that I can work in other Tony, areas around here. Tony, yeah. if she passes away, all you got to do is put her in a closet and keep collecting those checks. <laughs> you see the <laughs> right. I never had. It, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what? Hold on, Alex. This is my, if you die on me, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> she may drive me crazy, though, but she's not that bad. Do she's a, do, you do a Norman Bates. You do a Norman Bates. You stuff her. 
You know, Alex, and, don't you tell me in work? I can't wait mm. for you to. <laughs> My mother wants me to quit. I love it. <laughs> you know, Tony, do they yeah. call it personal preference program? Out here in Jersey, it's personal preference program. Yeah, you get to pick the person. The family, right. You know, right. But if and I then, want to work outside the family, they told me I have to take a course. Right, they do that here. But nobody hours. posts on my page because my family, who I hate, most of them, not all of them, nobody knows. So I'm going to tell them right now it looks like it's going to be like June if, if everything starts moving along. The lawyer's taking care of it. But I just have Don't. to copy her. Like, By the way, I suddenly, or, I suddenly got, a, I got a note back here from Shecky. I suddenly realized I've really become an old person because I wrote what? a note saying I played the tape tonight of uh, your of our little thing in uh, uh uh, Queens, Queens. <laughs> and uh, he wrote back, "What tape?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still calling it tape. You know, there isn't any tape. There's no tapes. It's a little. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's what kind about of that big. That you it's do? about she that called, big that uh, I put it on. 128 yeah. gigabytes. Not, Alex, I still call the DVR the DVD sometimes by accident. <laughs> no, you call the DVR the DVD. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. I'm, really, I'm really messed up. Wait, no, I, I call the refrigerator the ice box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still um, dial uh, phone number. Yes, uh, yes, uh, jo uh, uh, Richard. Yeah, Richard. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> you can say Joe Hansen if you want, or Joe, or Yukon, or whatever. Uh, did you did you get uh, to did you get uh, to know the which movie that Kuala Lumpur building was in? Did you, no. He, he says, okay, you want to know it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, do I win another prize? Because uh, I won the prize. You said I was the first one to say Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. Well, the check is in the mail, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you said come to New York City and get it, but I don't know That's what right. it's going to be. Pick so. it up. Yeah, you got to come yeah. find me. Anyway, go it ahead. Expires after ninety days. Yeah. The, 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 the movie uh, is called The Entrapment. The Entrapment. Right. Oh. Entrapment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Sean Connery and Catherine Cedar Jones. Yeah. It, it, yeah. it wasn't Die Hard? <laughs> no, it wasn't Die Hard. It wasn't Die Hard, Phil. Die Hard in New York, maybe. Mm. See, no, it was in L.A. Is where. Yeah, Alex. but they had a, they had one in New York. They, oh, yeah. Die yeah. Hard 3 was in New York. Yeah. 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 That one with Samuel Jackson was in New York. Yes, yes, yes. yes uh, yeah, there was one that they say it was like the Patronus building or something. Mm -hmm. That was the, the Patronus. Patronus. That was I, the Patronus. But in Die Hard, they... They, no, maybe the, it was the company that the German guy it, it, owned. Entrapment. But, that was the Patronus building. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying it was the Patronus I had a building. Bad, I, listen, I had the a bad, name of the company. Don't even talk. And die hard. Don't talk that the wife worked wasn't, at. Wasn't called. Patronus. No, it wasn't Patronus. No. no. What was it? I don't know, but all I know is I have no, a you're bad. Supposed case. to know that. Stuff. All I know is I have a bad case of Patronus, and if we keep going on like this, I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yes, no, Charlene's had her hand up. She may lose it if she doesn't get to talk. No, yeah. just forget what it was I was going to say. Okay. Now, um, I hope he doesn't get upset. Um, our Johansson from Norway, that yeah. our new you know he's, gentleman he's here from Copenhagen. Norway. I love <laughs> yeah. the way he That's said right. Kuala Lumpur. I think because I knew a Norwegian girl once, and instead of saying Chihuahua, she used to say Chihuahua. Chihuahua. I just love that. He's not upset with me, is he? Yeah. I love the way he pronounced that though. It was great. The way he said Kuala Lumpur. The way yeah. I said it? Yeah, yeah, I like that. It sounds great. <laughs> How did I say it? I, I, I didn't say it because I can't say it. I think you say Kuala Lumpur, kind of. I say Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Kuala Lumpur. I, I, yeah. Uh, maybe it's, it's, uh, it's a little... No, it's okay. There's a you little problem forming point? certain... Sounds uh, the same to me. Uh, is there an accent there? Can you hear the accent? Uh, yeah. yeah. Kuala Lumpur. No, you have no accent at all, Richard. We can't even... We couldn't detect you were from another <laughs> I country. I can't detect anything. It's I'm really perfect surprised. English. Oh, that's, that's, Alex, I'm really surprised thing, by that. Another thing you want to say. <laughs> there was a... Uh, do, by the way, by the way, Richard, hold on a second, Chalene. <laughs> Richard, do I sound like I have an accent? Yeah, you have a... Um, Slightly, a slight New York accent, I think. Really? Now, could you do an American accent for us? Could I do an American accent for you? That's good. <laughs> that was good. How was that? It was, it was pretty good. It was okay. It was pretty twangy, good. Like yeah. twangy, like New York, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, what is he talking about? No, yeah, what are you talking about? Here, <laughs> yeah. try this one, and I'll say fuck you, and you say fuck me, fuck you. 
That <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. That's New fuck York. You. <laughs> uh, yeah, Charlene, you had something you were continuing. Oh, or something? No, you know what? I hate to. Um, am I changing? But did you hear about the big mob hit? In Staten yeah, Island? yeah, yeah, yeah. Since 1985. Uh, thank no God. I mean, it's finally back again. We were missing that kind of action here I know, in New I'm York. I'm so excited. <laughs> and the <laughs> punk <laughs> hit under the under the car right. rather than fire back. He's you know, a, here here he is, campaigner. a big mob boss. Yeah, and, he was and, a big and mob he, boss. And he crawls under his car, so he, you know, and and the guy finishes him off. Yeah, right. yeah. I I, I really think it, it, it. That's something I missed, have missed about New York, and I couldn't put my finger on it. Yeah, since 1985, it yeah. hasn't happened. Because when right. I lived in New no York, killing the first since time, 1985. Was, that was like you know on the news every night. What was the killing today? Right. Yeah. Who was the guy? Who was the one mobster who they killed at Umberto's clam house? Yeah, who was that? And right? he still had the cigar in his mouth when he was lying there dead. Do you remember that? Oh. Yeah. But Albert Anastasia, my father did a lot of work for him. And I know. That you... was the guy uh, that was uh, actually was killed in a barber's chair. Yeah. In the, uh, uh, in the... They, you know, it was a hit. And I think I'm they, trying to remember. I think the hotel was, like I think it was the, uh, what do you call it, the Waldorf Astoria uh, barbershop. Right. Yep. Oh, that was the Godfather's Hi, scene. Patrick. We're here. Uh, we're here talking about mob hits. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard about it, and big fucking deal. Well, I mean, no, but it, no, but you don't understand. As a New Yorker, we're excited about this That's because it's thing, the kind yeah. of news we've been lacking for a long time. <laughs> right. You know. I mean, and when I first moved here, every other day there was somebody getting killed on the streets of New York by by mobsters. You know, mob and, and, and muggers. Uh, yeah. do you you live in Harlem, don't don't you? Yeah. Well, uh, which part of Harlem is? Do you live in the part uh, close to Manhattan, the part that they used to call uh, Spanish Harlem? Actually, Spanish Harlem is right near where I am now. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, when Harlem first existed, it it was everything above 125th Street. And then as yeah. the years went on, it crept down to where I am, 116th Street. And then when you went below 116th Street and over to the uh, east side, am I right, uh, uh, Jeff? Uh, that yeah. became Spanish Harlem. So, That's Spanish yeah. Harlem. Yeah. Okay, okay. I just know where, where that from Willie. Willie uh, used to speak. He used to run around in Spanish Harlem in as a 13-year-old in 13, 14, in, in the 70s, Willie really yeah. DeVille. Growing up and then oh, becoming. Oh, Bill. Yeah. I know who he is. He died. Yeah. Yeah, he Isn't died it? in 2009. Yeah. 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 Pancreatic cancer. Oh, yeah. really? I yes, Patrick. Um, Tony, <laughs> did did you um have a good time and then wipe it off and not wipe everything? What happened? kind of. You did something and you tried to wipe it off. Let's try this. Let's try this. Wait a minute. Let's try this. Tony, Tony, go get a tissue. Go get not you, Tony. Tony, go get a tissue and and wet it, and then come back. You put Vaseline on the lens, right? That was my foot. My foot weird. What? What happened? She's yelling from the. I actually. She, I put my mother's cream on her shoulder because she itches. Maybe I got some on my hands. She's no, driving me no, crazy. I hope I don't do. get fired out. Have you got a bathroom? Have, have you got a Have you got a bathroom? Hold on. She's yelling. Are you all right? I have to stub my toe. Wait a minute. Are you are you near a bathroom? Yeah, I'm right here. Okay. She, I used okay. To before. Go to the bathroom. Get some tissue paper. Wet it. Then take another piece of tissue paper that's dry and come back yeah. and we'll tell you what to do. Because this is driving me crazy. It's getting to look like I'm watching, you know, a Lucille Ball show I, I think from it's the a 70s. Reaction from the camera to the wallpaper. What? Yeah. Right. That's funky. That's funky. For all we know, if he cleans the lens, that may not be the wallpaper. Hey, he thinks that he hates folding hat boxes. Wait till he has to wait on his mother 24-7. Yeah. We're going to, you know. He, uh, he doesn't know what he's in for. He's going to yeah, beg to go back to day. go back to Hat City. Okay, so now you got oh, you got the wet tissue. 
wet and dry. Okay, take the wet oh. one. See the where the cops are coming down the block. They're probably gonna take, kill somebody. Take, see, take see, see, first, see where the me. camera is, where the camera <laughs> right lens is, right there. Just uh, <laughs> wash that. You clean it off. Just yeah, they, look oh, at that. Oh my God. God damn it. Can you God imagine the rest it. of the house? Now take the <laughs> other one. Take, no, the, <laughs> the, actually, yeah. take, take, take the screen. other one and dry it. There you go. Uh, Tony, okay. that's okay. because you're ruining okay. your camera. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at that, folks. Am I right? It was a dirty lens. I get again. God, you are fucking ugly. I know. Who's a comic like my mother Alex. <laughs> <laughs> See, my, I got new looks. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. By the way, the teeth are looking good. The, the teeth are looking good. I know, they're actually, just the ones up here. But I don't even care about the ones on top anymore. We do. I'm only down 350 and then I'm done paying. Oh, wow. Really? I How much change. longer are they going to keep sticking those things on you? I don't know, but at, at this point, I don't even care. I'm, I'm paid in full pretty much, so I don't care. Yeah. They, don't you want the value for what you paid for? I figure I'm getting my money's worth because I'm over the extent, you know, the two years. I got them in almost three and a half, four years now. Well, I, that's, I, I have a record set. But too. you, but, yeah, but yeah, and nobody know, uh, remembers what your teeth look like. Oh, you I had remember. no tooth going in the same direction. Exactly. They were bad news. Yeah. They and, were bad And news. Shecky convinced you. He did go get them done because and, and my sister was so happy I did. Not she told you to and see. not it wasn't for you, it was for us. We couldn't stand looking at your mouth. I don't blame what you. What was too. it? Veneers or, or Invisalign? And you know what? Invisalign. And I'll tell you the truth, I feel a lot better, even though I was never really that conscious of it, but I do feel better. I like that they're straight. Well, you open your mouth more when you talk and you know yeah. you smile. Yeah. It was easier to chew and brush. Yeah. What about dental in uh, Norway? Oh yeah, you get that for free too. Uh, expensive, expensive. Oh really? Yeah, I I I um, I actually uh, prefer to see to yeah. pull them out. Yeah. 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 Well, if they're that, in the back, nobody's going to notice that, you know. No, no, not here. Uh, uh, but I don't I don't want to do it in my front teeth. But you know, it's pretty expensive. Well, I've had a loose tooth here for the longest time, and and one of these days it's going to have to go. And she says, "Then we can do an implant." And I went, "Yeah, nah, you know, it's yeah. so far back. I mean, come on, you, you do it. Can... I want, I want, I want to know I'm going to live as long as, long as the implant. Okay, uh, can, can yeah. you, can you, if you, if you get a root canal or like that kind of thing, can you, you pay and get, and then get uh, something back from? Uh, I have uh, with my, uh, no? with my, uh, uh, I can't uh, with my medic. You can." Jones? Well, with my medical plan at SAG-AFTRA, oh, I get oh. twenty. I get twenty five hundred dollars a year for dental. Oh, okay. But uh, you got to okay. spend another twenty five hundred on top of that. You no, know, no, you, no, you don't necessarily. Go, it depends go, on the on the can, thing. Some things they yeah. pay eighty percent. Oh, you know, you, you can get actually. Actually, well, I know most, the dentist said to me uh, that yeah. I really don't want to pull out teeth, teeth, this, this or this, because uh, you can go to. Uh, to the soul and get get something. I don't know how, how much, but you can get something colored. Yeah, I don't know how much you can well, the get thing, colored. Of, one yeah. of the guys on the trip, his wife is going in is a dental something, and she was going into a Hi, business. Janet. Yeah, no, she wasn't a dentist, but what she was doing was uh, developing a uh, something that you wear in your mouth to stop sleep apnea. Uh, because uh, what they're saying is... It's called a dick, that, Phil. It's called a it, dick. Well, no. <laughs> what, 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 they're, what they're saying is, is that by pulling out teeth, uh, you know how we take out our wisdom teeth and things like that, yeah. that it changes the position of the jaw and causes sleep apnea. So What about this, grinding? It causes well, that the grinding, I'm actually getting something on Monday. I'm going to pick it up. It's a thing that looks like the Invisalign, and it just yeah, fits over guard, your. Night yeah, I'm, I'm getting. Uh, I took the impressions like a couple weeks ago. Marjorie, Marjorie, Marjorie had where has to does a night guard every night when she goes to sleep. And as I uh -huh. kiss her good night, I feel like I'm kissing Rocky just before he's going into the <laughs> ring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, not only do I have oh, well, I have the guard, I have the CPAP mask. I'm, I'm a real winner. You go first, you go first Charlene. Yeah. Oh no, I I'm changing the subject, but you said something about Rocky. 
George Foreman died, I think, right? <gasps> what? Oh, did he? Did he? I, I saw it. I hope it wasn't a... Oh, my God. I hope I'm not killing That's, a, ma Foreman. that's a major loss. If he died. I know, yeah. Yeah. Well, no more Foreman oh. grills, right? Yeah. Sorry, um, I just thought of that when Where, you said that. Come on, come here. Hey, you know, the, the thing about George Foreman is all his kids are named George. Yeah, yeah that's one of them. So, George. you know, it may have been one of them. I don't know. Um, let's see. Does he have, did, did he have many kids or have many kids? Oh, I think he had like eight. seven or eight. Yeah. Seven or eight. George Foreman's daughter died. Yeah. Oh. oh, maybe it was that it? I'm sorry. I should have snoped. Well, small, small, small uh, mistake, uh, Charlene. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> nobody takes a drink for that. Yeah, no. uh, George Foreman's daughter. Yeah. Yeah, they've been talking. Okay, that's what it was. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah. Well, it, thanks for setting me straight. Because yeah. I would have thought he was passed away, and I was upset. Yeah. But, uh, He's a nice guy. I, I would be, I would be, like, I would be too, if, if, if I heard it. Yeah. yeah. No. I feel sorry for, I feel sorry for George Foreman. Yeah. Why? I just I, I just want like uh can I ask uh, for Charles? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you said you you had uh three operations, right? I actually have had four since, four. since uh I my turn 65, yeah. Did they do the prefrontal and, and, and lobotomy you, and first? And always, you always 65 actually? You yeah, 60. I'm 69. Oh, that Charlie. Don't I you? would I would never uh I don't know what it is get, about I, I don't know what it is about up. black people yeah, yeah. but they don't age quite as badly as white people do. Really? Yeah. Clean really? living. <laughs> <laughs> but but you got uh you had something you got uh diabetes or something? Yeah, I've had three operations for toe amputations. Oh, you had you three to, toes. You used to be a so, uh, baseball player. Wait a minute. Or... Wait a minute. You had three. Oh, I was, a, yeah, I, I was a, a softball player for forty-five years, and then yeah. I was umpire for thirty-one years. So, and, so you 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 retired now, right? Yeah. Okay. Wasn't because, there a forty-nine-er kicker that had? Uh, I used to be a soccer player, and. Uh, ah. And so I, was, I suppose, I'm, Charles, I'm when when you go so out to dinner with retired. people, you don't foot the bill. Is it even worse? Uh, <laughs> Actually, the person yeah. that kicked the first 63-yard field goal had no the front part of his foot. Was right, there. that's the guy I was thinking of. Uh, 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 Patrick's got his hand up. Um, Richard, uh, yeah. I have to say, your memory is better than the rest of us all put together collectively. <laughs> He's only 29 years old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 25, 25. 25, yeah. Yeah, the rest Norwegian years. Right. Yes, Norwegian, <laughs> Democrat, social democratic, social democratic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. I, they I go by it. slowly. Yeah, of course. Being socialist in uh, in in Norway means you're a communist, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's a vast word. You can you can put uh, different types into that word. You can put socialist, com you can say if you if you're a lefty, you can be a socialist, a communist, you know, a, yeah, you can an be an arsonist. A, and either one of them. Yeah. It's not it's not now, it's not it's not was, really it, it, yeah. Was Norway controlled by the USSR as a satellite no. uh, during Oh no, no never. No. So which never. which countries uh in that region were uh Soviet satellites? None. None of them. You have to go to the 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 closest to us. Uh, if you go over to Finland and then the the Baltic, the Baltic, the Baltic countries, like Estonia and places Estonia like Estonia and okay. Lithuania, 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 and then sort of Eastern, Eastern Europe what? as well. What? Finland wasn't controlled by the Phil, Soviet Union. No, no, Phil, no. where did you ever fin get that idea? Well, you know, you had the Eastern Bloc, and you I, I understood that uh, that well, fin Finland, fin I think fin Finland had a lot of influence. From the Finland had, had had was not, never controlled by them, by them, but they had a, a little influence. Uh, I mean, they 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 have a connection, a with relationship, the military, and they have a, they have it like that. But it was never never controlled no. by it. Like, no? No. no. Okay, I thought the, I thought it was a Phil, Phil, it's, Phil, it's a Nordic country. Phil feels feel, this is Phil's way of thinking about things. That if you don't live in the United States, you're in a poor <laughs> you're in a poor country. Okay. Okay. No, uh, no, uh, it's uh, not a poor country. It's just shithole country. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Old, right? <laughs> yeah, Trump said so, and I, you know, he's about my president. Norway? 
about no, 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 yeah. Norway. Uh, Patrick, he said that people from shithole countries are trying to come into the Peter, states. Peter, uh, did, uh, <laughs> Here, uh, the, uh, the the uh, the the head of NATO is uh, is Norwegian. Did you know? Did you know that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The NATO's not doing too good. They don't pay their bills. No, but uh, the former prime prime minister is, is yeah. the head of NATO. And uh, okay, Patrick, Trump, Trump Patrick has a, Patrick has his yeah. hand up. Yes, Patrick. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just watching the news, and apparently there was uh, two mosques that had mass shootings in New Zealand. Wow. Mm. Mosque, mosque. wow. Do they allow guns in New Zealand? Oh, that, that's the thing I was going to bring up is everybody yaps about gun control, and here we are in New Zealand where they're supposedly banned and two mass shootings at two mosques. Yeah, they're banned in Chicago, New Zealand was conservative. I, I think they allow guns in New Zealand because... Yeah, uh, it's Australia that doesn't allow guns. Yeah. Right, right. New Zealand allows guns. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. both countries uh, are... Another Aust shithole country. Australia banned them. Uh, yeah, Australia's few, the one few years they back. Had a mass shooting oh. since 1996. Oh. Uh, just they're all drunk. Wasn't there a Lindor Chocolate Place or something that yes. was so bad that the, the uh, that Australia decided no guns, that's it, fuck it, and nobody complained. Everybody agreed, not a bad idea. It was giving them all diabetes. You know, they uh, they go into uh, it was a Lindor chocolate store, and they thought that the flag that they put up was an ISIS flag. I don't think it was, but they uh, the people who had taken over the the store and had lodged the yeah. attack uh, had that black flag, uh, and the news media said that it was ISIS. Yeah. But, um, what what what? Oh, wait a minute! I had a couple items here. Let me go. Uh, let me reach over here. Why don't I ever just get this before the show so I don't have to <laughs> lean over? Uh, let me see here. That's a blank page. That's not a blank page. Oh, okay. Uh, let's talk for a moment about the college bribery scandal oh, yeah. that's going on. Um, the only way I would have gotten in. Well, <laughs> uh, no, because you didn't have the money to do it. Yeah. No, that's why I didn't get in. Yeah, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I, in a way, I feel a little sorry for Felicity uh, what, Huffman because all she spent was $15,000, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Lori Laughlin and her husband spent a half a million dollars to get this moron kid of theirs into college. That's funny. And then she, she, she goes out there. She goes out there, and she's very famous for doing her uh, her Facebook uh, posts or videos. And she's one of them. She says, "Here I am at college. Boy, it's going to be fun. All the parties and all the good times. I really don't care about studying. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have never Didn't come here." And, 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 and wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And that 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 was the mentality of this spoiled little piece of shit. Well, she somehow, because of her Facebook uh, presence and so on, had a uh, deal with Sapporo, the the uh, the makeup people. Uh, and Sephora. Uh, yes, Sephora. So if you want to hear about the fallout on this thing, first of all, Lori Laughlin lost her job with Hallmark Cards Incorporated doing Hallmark movies, which yeah. is, which is of course, of course, one million dollars in bail. I know. I know. You know all that. Really? Yeah. It's a hundred thousand dollars in cash. So you don't get it back if you put up the hundred grand, That's but right. you get it back if you put up the million. Yeah. Yeah. So oh. anyway, but they had the million. So. Uh, but anyway, uh, their home alone is worth $35 million. So they <laughs> took a lean against that and got the cash. Um, uh, uh, anyway, the Hallmark Cards, in, uh, Hallmark Cards Incorporated uh, and the uh, company Crown Media Family Networks Group, uh, which includes the Hallmark Channel, have released a statement saying the company has stopped development on all productions involving Lori Laughlin. Now, wow. now, not only is that, well, that a, not only is that a blow to her bank book, but that's a blow to her acting career. Uh, it's over. I don't know if you've ever seen those Hallmark movies, but a, a fucking uh, uh, paramecium could play a part on a Hallmark movie. <laughs> you know, she's got a future selling hits of the '70s on late night TV. 
Yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, uh, we are saddened by the recent news surrounding the college admissions allegations. The Hallmark statement says we're no longer working with Laurie Laughlin and have stopped the development of all productions with her. Now, here's the thing. Of course, she hasn't been found guilty of anything yet. So is it right of them to suddenly drop her just simply because she's been alleged, you know? It's, it, it's being a little too on the safe side. The company initially took a wait-and-see approach after a federal investigation uh, involving more than 30 parents, and they say there are like 80 more or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, Laughlin's career and the Hallmark Channel were deeply intertwined. She's been among the so-called Christmas queens who top light a slate of popular holiday movies. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and has also starred in the ongoing garage sale mystery movies and the series When Calls the Heart. Laughlin's daughter, now this is what happened with the daughter, Olivia Jade has also suffered a setback in the immediate backlash. Um, TMZ quotes a honcho at Sephora, where she was a spokeswoman, or a spokesgirl. I mean, come on, she's hardly out of her, she's hardly past having her first period. Um, uh, quotes a honcho for Sephora saying, after careful review of recent developments, we've made the decision to end the Sephora collection partnership with Olivia Jade effective immediately. So this yeah. family has taken a big financial hit, you know. Yeah. Now the husband is a designer. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you, what's he design? Clothes. No. no. Clothes. Hmm? Yeah. Clothes. Yeah. Clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. About about clothes uh, designers, uh, Karl Lagerfeld died. He yeah. passed away, right? Yeah. He passed away yeah. just recently. God, he was so good with collars. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. the um, <laughs> what, what, what really is, 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 I think, the biggest hit here is going to be there is one person already suing Stanford University. Right. Right, mm -hmm. Jeff? You know the story, Jeff. <laughs> I, but... Um, I'm not so sure that they. Will you let me finish Stanford... it so the audience can hear what it's all about, Phil? All right. Before you jump in with your opinion on something they don't know what you're jumping in on, uh, she's suing Stanford University, saying that she paid something like three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand for her education at Stanford, maybe more, and that her degree is now worth less than it would have been prior to this scandal. So. She might have a case. Yeah, and they say that a lot of other students are thinking of suing as well on the same basis, saying, you know, There's what's... a different basis. Huh? There's a different basis. They're, what people are saying is that they didn't get a fair... Uh, they paid an application fee, and they expected that they would get a fair, uh, 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 a fair deal when applying, yeah. and yeah. because they didn't get that, uh, there's going to be a lot more students who didn't get accepted yeah but they're, they're probably uh, just going to be able to recover they're going to be able to recover that fee probably but the fact is that uh this woman is saying hey i got myself a stanford degree i paid good money to get that stanford degree okay. honestly and now because of the university has been sullied huh? by this my degree is not worth what it was yesterday because people will look at it and say, "Oh, Stanford. Oh, well, how did you get your degree?" Yeah. You know. Now, Condoleezza Rice uh, was uh, was she the head of Stanford? Uh, no. Was she the dean? No. Uh, she had something to do with Stanford. Maybe, yeah. Where I'm trying uh, to remember, I can't remember now. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Patrick. Oh, sorry. As far as her degree not being worth anything, mm -hmm. uh, she must be a brand new graduate because in the real fucking world after you get your first job yeah you know, give the goddamn where you graduated from all they care about is what well, no you're, you're wrong you're wrong job. you're wrong patrick they do care they uh, yeah, let jeff jeff is disagreeing with you yeah Can jeff, I say one thing wait too? jeff i'm sorry wait a minute. jeff turn your microphone on jeff uh, she's uh, she Condoleezza Rice was uh, uh, Denning professor in the global business. Okay, and economy have another, at have, have another drink, right. folks. Uh, yes, uh, yes, Jeff. Patrick, what, when you when you went to Yale or, or Stanford or or any of these places, that that goes with you for the rest of your life. 
If you went to Milwaukee School of Engineering, nobody gives a shit. Okay. But but if if if, if you're for instance a person in business and you went to Wharton, Ooh, uh, that's Trump? that's yeah. going to be uh, a hiring thing uh, even throughout yeah. your entire career. Hey, he's a Wharton graduate. You well, know? You that's what Bree was talking. I know about. you I, forever. That's what Bree was talking about the other night. Like Wharton has these schools set up around the country, and you go for two weeks and pay thirty thousand dollars, and you know they give you a piece of paper that says you know Wharton School of Business. Wait a minute, <laughs> but, wait, wait, Wharton? No, Wharton is a little. You must be thinking of somebody else. Because no, 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 no. They they have these. They have them for Harvard. They have them for for. So it's a big money making thing where people go and they take these courses. Uh, you know, they're they're graduate courses, but uh, uh, and Wharton is one of them, and it's right. So you Wharton have to have already, already had to, you've already had to graduate from somewhere yeah. else, right? No, no, not necessarily. No. You just oh. got to pay the money. I, I, I don't believe that, Phil. Don't believe I'll, it for I'll a second. I know you'll look it up. Go back to michaelsavage.com. He's had his hand up for a long time. Yes, uh, to yeah, Tony. And he's uh, cleaning he's his right. screen. Tony. Jeff is right. You know why? The, when we took my mom to Sloan Kettering, the head surgeon who worked on my mom, his degree in the wall, Stanford. So that's got him. That means a lot. It yeah. has to. No, it, 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 uh, it, uh, in spite of what you think, Patrick, The uh, I know that, for instance, my wife works uh, for a... Uh, 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 financial company, Chinese banking, and all the people there, you know, they say they went to this school or they went to that school, and this is not their first job, you know. So, it, 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 some schools, you, you're, you're, whoever said it was right. I mean, if it, you know, it, if it's the mechanic school of Wisconsin, that's one thing. What do you, what do you, uh, what are you holding uh, up? We can't it's read the it. The Wharton, uh, Wharton, San Francisco campus. Yeah, uh, it, and. Uh, yeah, it's it's a block from the Bay Bridge. Yeah, and you, you pay. Uh, it, it's uh, called the uh, Wharton EMBA program in San Francisco. There's these short courses. You pay like thirty thousand dollars, and you get a certificate that says you attended Wharton. Yeah. Well, you attended uh, Wharton and took those particular courses. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't say that you graduated from yeah, Wharton. Yeah, that's a difference. No, uh, it, it's, well, that's a big but, difference, Phil. Yeah, it, it, it's a, it's not a scam. What, what, but it no, is. no, what, no, it's not a scam because what they're saying is you can say, hey, you know, I took a course at Wharton in this particular uh, uh, thing, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 so I have a, I have a, uh, I, I, I graduated from them on in that subject, and and in mm -hmm. that that will carry some weight, you know, that will carry some weight. Yeah, but you know, it's not like going to Wharton and spending the half a million it takes to get through Wharton. Well, did Trump spend the half a million at Wharton? Uh, if, if, <laughs> if I if 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 I, I know Trump, that. if I know <laughs> Trump, his father Trump did what Wharton. Lori Laughlin did for her daughter. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, uh, uh, Wharton's part of uh, the University of Pennsylvania, isn't it? I think so. Yes. I can't remember. Yes, and and uh, didn't uh, Marjorie go to the University of Pennsylvania? Yeah, she went to the rape school. Yeah, <laughs> the rape school. I always call it the rape school. She loves oh. that. Did you have your hand up, Patrick? It's a good school. Did you have your hand up, or did you want to interject and defend yourself on that uh, whole thing about, you know, it only follows you in the first round? Pat Ooh. Patrick? Oh, Patrick. Patrick? Yeah. I, I, I still think it's bullshit, so, I mean, whatever. Okay, well, no, I, you know. Yeah. You have, you're entitled to your opinion. I, I, I disagree. I think that you know people send their kids to Stanford because they think that if their kid can graduate from Stanford, the kid's going to be in pretty good stead for the rest of his life until last week. Because yeah. uh, you don't, like you said, Alex, how many more people might they have, might have they done this for? You don't know now. Oh, this, this is going on for you. The problem is the reason this has become such a sensational story is and we, we kind of knew it. We kind of suspected it. But now we have proof positive that this has been going on at these reputable, reputable institutions. I mean, there was a guy making some kind of coach or something, making $5 million a year at one of those yeah. schools who took a million-dollar bribe and just lost his $5 million a year job. What a dope. Yeah. Right. Yes, you just yes Jeff. The, the old method. He should be in the warehouse with me. What? The, the old method to get your kids in college. Yeah. 
is, is you buy a building and you put your father's name on the building. <laughs> yeah. And then guess what? The kid's now 16. He's in the college. Oh, he's, he's what oh, they, you, know what, you know what they used to call them? Legacies. That's legal. They used to call them what legacies. And that's legal. $15,000 does not get you a building. Doesn't even no. get you a parking space. I did say half a million. 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 Yeah. <laughs> it's like two fifty a year for a garage. A month. Yeah. Well, maybe you get a parking space in Queens, but not at Stanford. I could, I could, <laughs> there was a parking lot here. I'd be making money. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, it, it's quite a scandal. Uh, it's, you know, it's, and... and um, uh, I I I hope they nail these parents like crazy. Yeah, it, it's you know? kind of like what kind of. I mean, they have to be embarrassed. Like they want. You, it's like they're just so elitist. Like you can't go to the school, but I'm going to pay you to get in, honey. Well, so listen, just, I'm, I, just imagine being one of these kids in school right now. Oh, you're right. You know, she probably got it right. In the case of Olivia, uh, Olivia Laughlin. Uh, she didn't want to be there. It, uh, she well, you know where she was when she found out about this whole scandal. Yeah, on a on a she yacht in the, in the Bahamas. On a yacht with who? With who? Uh, with one of the USC donors. Uh, with, no, one of the USO USC <laughs> Board of Regents. Yeah, I passed a really big mega yacht, and it might have been the one that she was on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, yes, yes, Patrick. Stupid kid. The, the good thing, though, with these universities is these kids can go to their safe spaces and not have to endure anybody making fun of them because they'll have a llama to pet and cookies and coloring yeah. books. And, <laughs> and a participation <laughs> award. You might fail that one, too, but you know. Participation oh. award. Alex? Yeah. Just if I disappear, it means my husband came home late, so I was lucky. He came in and I might have to feed him or something. Well, it, the show's only got Tie him up the show's only hours. got about five minutes left, so you can stick with <laughs> us, you know. Either, All right, well, either I hope that or drag me out or something. That or kill your husband. Uh, I know I'd like to. <laughs> nobody should interrupt. Avenatti's available. Yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, we have another. Uh, we have another. It's a long drive to New Jersey. You know. We have a new. Uh, nope. We have a new candidate for. In the uh, American Idol, uh, become president of the United States sweepstakes. Oh, Mr. Beto, uh, yeah, Beto O'Rourke. Uh, he's he's added his. I think the only reason he's running really? is because no, is because it puts him in a nice place to perhaps be nominated for vice president. Exactly. You know, uh, yes, Patrick. He said he was born to do this. That's why he's doing it. Oh God, Hillary was too, right? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. And they were all born to do it. They were Manchurian God candidates to do it, right? I mean, I, I think he's a little inexperienced at this point. But then again, so was Donald Trump. But then look what we got. Yes, Jeff. Do, do we think uh, from each person that somebody who's over seventy years old is probably too old for this job? I would say so, okay? And I'm saying this is a guy who's 79, and I know how my stamina is, and I don't know if I could be, you know, president 24-7 uh, for four years at this point in my life. And I isn't, uh, isn't um, um, our uh, former vice president, uh, what, 78, 70? He's, I think, so younger than Bernie. He's younger than Bernie. Yeah, well, a year younger. Yeah. yeah, and I just, I, you know, I think, I think Trump's too old. To tell the damn truth, you know, uh, and yeah. but he, does, he doesn't work very hard at the job, so I don't think he has to worry about his stamina, you know. But I mean, how, how, how old is uh, Sanders? Uh, Sanders is God. I think seventy four. I think he's seventy seventy four. I think so. and, he'll be and 79 the other, when he's inaugurated. And, he and the other one, uh, Bi Biden. Yeah. Uh, how old is he? Biden's going to be 78. He's 77, 78, somewhere around in there. Uh, okay. That's I think a that's little, pretty, that's a little old. old. Yeah, I think that's too old. Yeah. I mean, I I think, quite frankly, I, I if you want my opinion, Obama was at the prime age to be president. Oh, yeah, that yeah he, was in. Oh, he was one of the youngest presidents. He's only 47. Yeah, but the, <clears throat> the job today takes so much out of you. 
and and take so much stamina that I think I think there were younger presidents. I think Clinton was younger than Obama. Well, maybe not. Yeah, and so was Kennedy, but you yeah. know, not yeah, sure. much. Yeah, but uh, I just think yeah. this idea of old presidents. Uh, there there are two reasons why you don't want somebody that old. Number one, stamina. Okay, because it, it's a very taxing job for most people, except for Donald Trump. Uh, and and uh, it's stamina, and it is also the fact that you're kind of thinking out of the box a little differently. You know, by the time you've reached my age, you're set in your ways. You know, I got to have my pudding every night at seven o'clock. You know, <laughs> yeah, you have your routines and all yeah, that. All yeah, that but there, are, if, yeah. if you're under fifty, say mm -hmm. forty-five to fifty. You're you're flexible. You're still flexible, mm. more so, more so than yeah. uh, believe me, much more so than me. Okay, not pa me. Oh well, you you're you're an old you're eighty years old right now. Fucking a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's the codger of our panel. Uh, you know, but all I'm saying is I think that, you know, I would agree with you, uh, Richard. And, and I'm not being ageist when I say this because I'm 79. I'm, I'm an old fart, you know. I'm so old, I'm unemployable, okay? And you, and you, would, you, you wouldn't even think about running for president, no, right? No, 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 uh, you no. know, uh, uh, to begin with, I'd have to stay awake at meetings, you know. Yeah, think uh, about the, the uh, job. Oh, Reagan uh, didn't. It, well, okay, Reagan is no, a perfect. Reagan didn't. Reagan's yeah. a perfect example. He had of, narcolepsy, or no, but he was also an older guy's president. And and quite yeah. frankly, to be honest with yeah. you, his last three years of his yeah. second term, Nancy was running the country because he right, didn't, half the time he didn't know where the fuck he was. Wasn't yeah, Nancy was going to a uh, soothsayer or a, uh, something like? Uh, what's that? her name? What was her? What was her name? Was I it? remember her name. She, she, Angie Dickinson, but no. Cynthia Dickinson, baby, no. no. Uh, I, she was going to a, like a, yeah, a, a, no. a fortune teller. Oh, she, she went yeah. to a fortune yeah. teller. Yeah. Fortune teller. Yeah. Fortune yeah, like, teller. Yeah. What were you going to say, yeah. uh, uh, Richard? Uh, yeah. Uh, do you remember? Uh, I'm talking about presidents. Uh, remember Boris Yeltsin in Russia? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he, Yeltsin. Uh, yeah. He, he was, he was sober. Yeah, he wasn't so bad at all. So he, I, 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 how did he do it? I don't know. But he, you know, he was late and all that kind of stuff. He came and he had to, they had to guide him sometimes. And yeah, you know, in, he was a Norway he wasn't once. Was an alcoholic or something? Yeah, he was an alcoholic. Basically, uh, he yeah. said wasn't Bush. Uh, yeah, when he was a kid. Yeah. Oh, Remember oh. he tripped or something and hit his head and. They said it yeah. was because he was plastered or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, so, that's true. So oh, you don't so want him. You don't. Yeah, yeah, okay. So now we've said. But not only should you not be old, but you shouldn't be an old drunk. That's right. <laughs> that's the. Uh, but you know. uh, that that was in Russia. So I don't know about how, the difference between Russia and USA. But well, don't they drink vodka for breakfast? Yeah. That, yeah. the, oh, they, oh, they, uh, they actually uh, have uh, a factory, uh, vodka factory that, that goes twenty four seven uh, because uh, they, they yeah. <laughs> Russia actually has had a very bad alcoholism problem. Very yeah. bad, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, also, driving they they don't drive very well there. Well, but then again, neither does the Prince. And Philip, if you experience you know. Russians in in other countries, like I have in Southeast Asia, they 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 are not very nice at all. I mean, yeah, they, it's, they, it's like the Germans. If you go to a resort. They're yeah. down there at seven o'clock in the morning, stealing all the chairs that they're yeah. putting their towels on it that go around the pool, you know. And then they go I, go out till ten thirty. But they, I you know, I, I said that I was at the beach. Uh, I usually we usually live in Bangkok, but sometimes we we take a trip to down to Pattaya or or Jomsia. I was sitting next to a Russian guy, and he was drinking. Well, uh, Jack Daniels, and he was bragging about how rich, rich he was, buying things, and then all of a sudden he got so drunk and he pissed himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you all got. I uh, hope you all Daniels got uh, good and drunk. I uh, hope you all got good and drunk tonight, uh, drinking yeah. every time Phil made a mistake. Uh, hey, uh, I want to thank everybody. It's been a nice night tonight. Uh, thank you all for watching. I to that I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had to put up with my home movies at the beginning of the show, but that's oh, the way great. it goes. 
Uh, Jeff, thank you so much. Uh, Phil, thank you. Uh, Richard, terrific. And it sounds like you're over your cold, so we can actually understand you. I am. Yeah. And uh, uh, Patrick, good to see you again. Uh, uh, Charlene, nice uh, to have you here. Nice to have a female on the panel. Uh, Charlie, once again, my hat's off to you. Oh, oh, isn't that ugly? Anyway, and and, uh, uh, Tony, everybody, why don't you give a, a big wave to the audience out there, and I'll wave back at you. That's goodbye from the citizen panel. Let me uh, hang up on them unceremoniously so that the next program, which happens to be uh, the intersection with Jack Bishop, can uh, can jump in here next over most of this same gabnet. I'll see you again uh, tomorrow night, right after Damian Chaplin, who I think is going to do a show tomorrow night. He didn't do one tonight. Uh, and uh, I'll be here at, he's here at 9.30 Eastern Time. At 10 o'clock Eastern Time, I'll be back again, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.